Hello and welcome to week three's Jing for CIS 210, uh, Data Structures and Elementary Algorithms. Jason here. And this week we're going to take a look at how linked lists work in Python. Uh, so one of the main differences in Python over Java or C++ language is that there's no uh, built-in class for linked lists in Python. So if you want to use one, you're going to have to build one, which is what I did. So um, let's look at the class that I wrote in order to implement the linked list. So we start with a class list node that's going to basically default the values um, to initial their none um, initially. And then, <clears throat> so it's basically initializing a empty um, node. And then we have the class link list, which is what's actually going to um, build our link list that's initialized with um, a head value of none. And then in order to add nodes, we have um, a function that's going to do that that basically says um, for each piece of new data here, we're going to amend it to the head of the linked list. Um, and then each additional value is going to get added accordingly. And then to, so that's basically going to add a node to the top of the list as the head. And then in order to append to the bottom of our list, um, we have this function that will um, basically take the data that we're entering and it's going to add it to the end of our link list so that it comes out in the correct order. And the last function that we need for this to work is um, a print of the link list which is basically going to start at the head and it's going to iterate through each of the values here and it's going to print the value. So to implement this linked list, I decided to do it based on a database because I work in insurance. So I thought of something that might work in that context with adding clients to a list, like a database list or something like that. So um, to start, we've got uh, my classes are imported here. And then we're going to start with a welcome message. And then we have this variable clients is equal to um, our link list class. So this is going to initialize our whole thing. We're saying that the clients.head value is going to be equal to um, entering the client name. Then we're going to have a node for logistics that's going to be entering address and phone number, insurance company, which um, carrier is it written with, and then coverages, what are we writing for them. And then this part of code here, it actually links each node together. So our head, the next value is linked to logistics, logistics to insurance company, company to client coverage. And then when we're done, it's going to print our data um, summary. And then we have a bit of code here to add another client. That's basically going to say, while adding is true, we're going to go through and um, add another client, and if no, it's going to exit the program. So let's see how it works real quick. So I'm just going to use myself as an example first. Um, I'm going to enter an address. MMG, and then we'll say auto and renters. So that's going to summarize my Entries, so we'll say yes, I want to add. Um, we'll do clear. So then we have both entries. So I'm going to say no, and then it exits. So um, that's what I have for this week's Jing. I'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.